Ed Sheeran's journey has been incredible. In just a few short years, he's gone from busking on the streets of London to selling out three nights at Wembley Stadium. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like to have the whole venue come just for you. He is one of the biggest pop stars in the world. And we here at Capital are proud to have been with him all the way. You guys don't want to get rid of me. After the massive success of Ed's debut album Plus, he went on to work with some other artists, including writing for a little band you may have heard of called One Direction. I had a I had a nighttime meeting with Simon Cowell yesterday. That's an exclusive about meeting. about giving new songs to certain people. Would this be the One Direction boys? Mm -hmm. I won't let these little things slip out of my mouth. Ed was getting a lot of attention from some other big names too. Demi Lovato put her own spin on his hit "Give Me Love" exclusively for Capital, and Ed he was a massive fan. Give a little time to me. of the few that can actually bring it live like she's got vocals it wasn't just demi though taylor swift became best buddies with ed and invited him to play on a tour she just couldn't stop singing his praises for both of us being on tour together and being really close friends it's the most fun experience you could ever have ed joined taylor on the capital summertime ball stage in 2013 for a moment that was pure magic Just a year after his summertime ball appearance, the anticipation for new material from Ed was at a fever pitch. Understandably though, Ed was pretty nervous about releasing his first new material in two years. I was kind of worried about uh, the reaction of everyone coming back, but uh, there, was, there was a choice. I could either release a ballad or I could release Sing, and Sing mm. seemed like the logical but yet not logical one, because although it sounds like a hit, it would turn everyone who is into the ballads kind of off, but I felt that would be good because at least they'd talk about it. Sing was the first single from Multiply and it featured the legend that is Pharrell. And the two stars, they struck up an unlikely friendship. I mean, I think I think he's um, one of the most talented individuals to, to have lived. He's not normal. You know, he's different. He thinks about things different. Cool. He just looks so much cooler than me. Like, just standing next to me, he just does this kind of neck thing where he just moves his neck. So it's a pleasure to work with him because yet and still, you know, I'm able to work with a different type of human being who just see things differently and I'm able to learn and sponge things from him too. He's very good at making people dance. I can do the acoustic singer song like a thing. You fuse the two, you get something that hasn't been done. Their bromance reached new heights when Ed interviewed Pharrell at the Capital Summertime Ball in 2014. And there was some serious fangirling going on. I'm backstage now with Pharrell. Um, you right, mate? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm so proud of you, man. Like, I'm so proud of what you're doing and like to see what you're doing right now is just amazing. It Thank really you. is. Very proud of you. Thank you so much. Sadly for us, though, he ruled out a performance with his new BFF, but he did give a pretty convincing reason for it. I'm on stage with an acoustic guitar, right, and I put the beat down on the loop pedal and then I play it. Pharrell's one job would to become on and go, sing! <laughs> <laughs> Louder! And that's, that, that, that's it. The real star of the show at the Summertime Ball was Ed's puppet. Just look what he got up to backstage. The puppet's an expensive puppet. The real Ed Sheeran absolutely smashed it at the ball. This is my third year in a row here. I know. Yeah. You guys don't want to get rid of me. One, two, three, six. Unbelievably, Sing was Ed's first ever number one on the Big Top 40, but he wasn't going to stop there. It's one thing to have a hit single and it's another thing to have a hit album, so I've just got to make sure the ball, the ball keeps rolling. And the ball definitely kept rolling. Multiply went straight to the top of the charts in June 2014. The follow-up to Sing was the amazing Don't, and allegedly the lyrics were about famous ex. And Capitals Dave and Lisa, they wanted to know exactly who it was. It was just because we heard that you'd written a song, the song Don't about one of our artists. Well, I wrote the song Don't. That, that's a fact, but it's not necessarily about, about anyone. Awkward. Anyway, having absolutely smashed it at the summertime ball, Ed, he dropped in for a live session and performed Don't exclusively for Capital. Pop 
Possibly the biggest song from Ed's mammoth second album, Multiply, was the gorgeous Thinking Out Loud. Now, Ed shocked us all with the video by showing off some seriously impressive ballroom dancing. Come on, where are you hiding those snake hips, Ed? People fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand Wow, come on, that is a romantic video. Now, Ed, he told Capital all about his inspiration behind the song. It's the final track that I wrote for the album, so it's the most fresh... Um, it's my mum and dad's favourite. It's written about the, 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 the girl that I'm with, but it wrote it for a couple who are our friends' first dance. And I played it at another friend's wedding. Sweet. Yeah. So this could officially be the wedding song. Yeah, well, it's 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 meant it's meant to be played at weddings, yeah. And good news for anyone who wants Ed to play at their wedding on a budget. I either do it for free or I don't do it. Pay, making a m- million off a wedding, like, come on, man. Ed capped off his year with an amazing set at the Capital Jingle Bell Ball in 2014. And he even had time to teach me the best way to dance his BFF Taylor's hit, Shake It Off. Shake it off, shake it off, there you go. But you just, you just end up, like, scooting over that way. Thanks for that one, Ed. I can really see those dance lessons paying off. All right, then, let's watch him on stage at the Capital Jingle Bell Ball with Thinking Out Loud. So honey, now Take me to your loving arms And kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking now when Ed was really worried about how everyone would react to his new material. I was kind of worried about uh, the reaction of everyone coming back. Yeah, about that. Ed ended 2014 as the most streamed pop star in the entire world and Capital's been with him all the way. So we wanted to give him something extra special. We'd like to present you with this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is actually a yeah, thing. Sure, like, Look at that. Wow. Look at and that picture wow. is from your first ever Jingle Bell Ball. Ed's journey to becoming the biggest pop star on the planet has been incredible. And we're so excited to see where he goes from here. We're going to leave you with Ed's cover of Five Seconds of Summer. She looks so perfect, exclusively for Capital. She looks so perfect standing there in my American apparel underwear. And I know now that I'm so down. Your lipstick stained is a work of art I got your name tattooed in an hour And I know now That I'm so down If you want more like this, then hit subscribe